hello welcome to cat class now let's try to do this exercise number 10 so here what he is asking is he is asking us to prepare a drawing as shown below using autocad also we have to draw three views let us see which is the front view this is the front view for us present over here okay this is our front view so now what shall we do let us try to look from the front if you look from the front what are the things you see you will see this uh, rectangle you will see this rectangle you will see this rectangle and you will see this rectangle this is what you see from the front okay let us try to draw it let's go open autocad file a cad iso 3d let's open this one it has opened now let's try to fix the limits what is the size of this drawing let us see this is 44 this is 40 so i can keep 50 by 50 okay so let me go here let me type limits enter first one is 0 0 let it be there second one is what 50 comma 50 enter now i will say z enter e enter so my screen is completely fixed remember you have to draw only in xy plane so now what i will do now i will just go change it to home here now see I see in this view palette what do I see here I see realistic and I see unsaved view right I will just go change it to front view this is my front view now colors are not really good let me just go and change them to what I will change it to 2d wireframe now see here I have got XY I can only draw in X and Y plate now let me go and see here what is this one this is total length is how much total length is 40 total height is how much height is 30 so let me make a rectangle of size 40 and 30 I fix uh, ortho let the dynamic mode be on I will just go take this one this is how much 40 then I will come down it is how much 30 again 40 go up and close okay so i finished this one now what i will do now i will just press on offset offset through offset through this one i will bring down by how much 10 i will take this one on this side by how much 10 i will take this one on this side by how much 10 okay press escape now do I need this part I don't need this so let me go to trim command just I don't need this I don't need this enter okay so this looks like our friend you see here from front if I see this is what I see this portion this portion this portion and this portion one two three four rectangles I see now I will change my view where I will change I will go here I will try to do southeast it is looking the other way but my drawing shown is in the other direction so let me try southwest view very good southwest view it is fixing over here I have now what I will do now just see here what I will do is I will just go to press pull I will go to press pull this one I will go back side by how much 10 okay now this one has to go out by how much see i need 10 and another 10 any 20 okay so i will just move this one by how much 20 even this portion also i should move out by how much 20 even this portion i should move out by how much 20 it seems very weird because you have got it in wire 2d wireframe let me change it to hidden view now see here you can nicely see now this is the back side portion is ready now let us come back to our drawing here see this length this length is how much 30 okay here from the back side up to the front it is 44 out of 44 this is 10 and this is 10 if we remove this this length will be 24 okay so now let's do this should be 30 this should be 24 let us do that one first again i will use press pull this one 
how much I should come in the front? Thalatin, thirty. What about this one? I will come in the front by twenty-four. Okay. Escape. Now I have the center portion. This also has to come out by how much? Let's just see here. This length from here to here it is how much? Thalatin. So here it is how much? Tamantash, eighteen. So from thirty, if I remove eighteen, how much is left? Itnash, that is twelve. So I should pull this out by twelve. Let me just go here. Make press pull. Use this one. Sorry. Where is the press pull? Press pull is here. See how much? Twelve. Enter. Okay. Escape. That's it. So everything is ready. But they are separate pieces. Now I have to join them. So how do I join them? Use union. The first one, solid. See here, solid union. Use this. Select this one. One, two, three. Don't forget this four. Okay. Enter. Now see here, it all became a single piece. Now what I will do? I will move it out. I will move this one out because I have this footprint created. I will just delete this one. Okay. Now I will press Z. Enter E. Enter. So I have my drawing ready now. Now what I need to do now? I need to draw the front view, top view, and left side view. See here, it is the left side view, is it not? So now how do I do it? See here in the bottom left corner, you can see here you have model space. You have what layout one. Click on layout one. When you click on layout one, you see your drawing. Just delete this drawing. Okay, out. Now what is there now? I have to go here. Open this one. Change it to third angle projection. Now I will go to base. Select from AutoCAD. Bring and put here. This is my base. Enter. Then I will go up. Click. Don't enter. Only click. And then come here. Click. Then go here and click. Enter. So now your all drawings are ready now. Now the sizes are fine, no problems. I can even arrange them if I want exactly in the middle. From some point I can hold it and then I can just move it out here. And it just to provide the location that's all. I can just Move this one also out a little bit on this side, and this drawing I can move from there somewhere. I can just go and keep it here. Okay, now you have to just do the dimensioning. So how do I do the dimensioning? First, let me make a layer so that I can change the properties of the layer. I will add a new layer. No, I will call this layer as DIM dimension. I will change the color of the layer as what color is here. See, I will click on this color. I will change it to magenta, let us say, or red color for that matter, let us say. I have selected. I will close this. Now, which layer I want? See, my current layer is what zero. I don't want this layer. I will go and it make dimension as my current layer. Okay. Now, just go to annotate. Select the dimensions from where you want. Let's start from here. From here to here, it is how much? Forty. See, beautifully it has come. And then again, from here to here, it is how much? Forty-four. This is how much? This is forty. Now, from here to here, it is how much? Ten. And then again, from here to here, it is how much? 18. See, these are the dimensions he has given. This is what we are drawing. Okay. And then again, this dimension is how much? Sorry, I did not click it properly. This is how much? 10. So similarly, you can do the dimension for everything. See? From here to here, how much is this? 10. Now I will use continuous dimensions. It is here, see. 
to this point it is 40 and then to this point it is 24 okay enter right and then again so you want the other dimensions that is the height from here to here it is how much he gives you he gives you 30 this height he gives you how much 20 now similarly all other dimensions you can just do them over here spread them out little bit so that it looks uniform okay and then the thickness of this one you can show over here like this okay Shubha. now see here you did the front view top view and side view so what else we need to do now we need to add a border and then you need to add a title block that's it thank you very much for watching the video